السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس فرام دا پریویس ٹائم وی ہیو بین لرننگ ہسٹری اینڈ ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از ڈکلائن آف بدھزم ڈکلائن آف بدھزم بدھزم ایز وی نو واز این اینشنٹ ارلی ریلیجن and what were its causes that it led to its downfall in india particularly we will see it was having two most important reasons and number one was internal and number two was external factors in the first we see let's first of all discuss internal factors that led to the decline of buddhism in india and here is the first one mall practices in buddhist vihar since we know buddhist vihar was a place buddhist vihar was a place vihar which which actually means hospice a place where needy person are given shelter are being given care that is called as hospice where buddhist vihar means where monks were or monks simply live what we saw in the early days that these buddhists or buddhist nuns used to live a simple life and a very sacred type of life but mall practices in such buddhist vihars began to occur that is mall practices those practices we see or we should not have occurred began to occur that is monks and nuns monks we know are the male persons and nuns or the female priests of this buddhist class started living with life of comfort they began to start to live a life of comfort since we know it was against their principles they had not to live a life of comfort so it was the first that the mall practices began to start in buddhist vihars we should not have done number 2 division division differences and emergence of various sects sect in buddhism we saw here first of all division started to occur differences from principle to principle and later when such differences occurred it led to the emergence of various sects in buddhism like that of hinayanists hinayanists and maha yanists the sects began to start in buddhism these were totally different from each other so this division was also the internal factor for its decline 
since we know united we stand divided we fall number third the buddhist started practicing the tradition of brahmans brahmans earlier we know used to since we know four brahmans kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras among these four brahmans were treating themselves as the upper superior class and this <coughs> this buddhists these buddhists started practicing the pra- tradition of brahmanas or vedic rituals which they initially had opposed earlier buddhists used to say that whatever these brahmanas say they used to oppose them but now the time had come that they began to follow these brahmanic rituals and used to get greedy and started <clears throat> getting wealth from the rest classes this was one of the main cause of internal factors that led to the decline of buddhism now let's see what were the external factors of decline of buddhism let us see now external factors a revivalism of a brahmanical faith it was not in the media a revival brahmanical faith <clears throat> in the form of vishnavism and shaivism vishnavism and shaivism that is the two religions now started emerging which became more popular in early christian centuries especially with the emergence of incarnation of all avatars the brahmanical which used to say that rebirth <coughs> occurs now here the revivalism of brahmanical faith started occurring by saying in the form of two important religious sects that is vishnavism and shaivism saying that the incarnation of all avatars is true even buddha was declared as vishnu's incarnation vishnu's incarnation this can be asked in one question that buddha was treated as incarnation of which of the following god you have to remember it it was vishnu number 2 faith lake of royal patronage a lake of a royal patronage to buddhist religion or to buddhism kings like kanishka and ashoka had also <coughs> spread in also helped in spread of buddhism ashoka kanishka and kanishka and ashoka ashoka the great mauryan king these two kings had helped a lot in spreading buddhism 
both in India and Southeast Asia, but Gupta rulers and later rulers were followers of Vishnuism and Shaivism. That is, Gupta rulers. Gupta ruler was one of the great dynasty, and it took much much time in India for its establishment, and so being followers. The rulers of Gupta dynasty being followers of either Vishnuism or Shaivism thus almost made Buddhism to get extinct in India because these Gupta rulers and the later followers of were not the followers of Buddhism. Had they, had they been the followers of Buddhism, perhaps the Buddhism in India would have spread its branches much more and it would have spread to a large extent perhaps to the south even. Number third, since we are discussing the external factors of decline of Buddhism we see arrival of Islam in India gave last blow to Buddhism that is arrival of Islam in India gave last blow to Buddhism in India the Islamic ideology of equality ideology of Islamic ideology of equality earlier we see the four costs like Brahmanis, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, Shudras and in Buddhism we also see that they know everyone was not treated equally but the ideology of equality in Islam was very much followed. This attracted a large section of downtrodden people in India that is those people which were not attracted by the religion of Buddhism they began to follow this equality and follow Islam in a large section in India and the Turkish invaders damaged Buddhist institutions Turkish invaders Turkish invaders damaged Buddhist institutions, monasteries, mostly famous that of Nalanda and Vikramshila. Nalanda, which we know as Nalanda University, and Vikramshila. Vikramshila, Bhagalpur. Bhagalpur, his learning institutions were destroyed by Ikhtiyaruddin. <coughs> Muhammad bin Bakhtiyar Kilji Ikhtiyaruddin Muhammad bin Bakhtiyar Kilji from the period of one one eight eight to 1202 AD. This was the period when Turkish invaders under Ikhtiyaruddin Muhammad bin Bakhtiyar Khilji. Sometimes you see that Bakhtiyar Khilji was the person who destroyed these Buddhist learning institutions in India. Number last to here we can say that the Vishnavis, Vishnavite and Shivite that these Buddhist monks, Buddhist monks is the four, they were persuaded persuaded by Vishnuvites and Shivites. 
they attacked the holy places of Buddhists and their monasteries, which led to exodus of Buddhists from India to Tibet and northeastern countries. If it is India, let's say India, when these were attacked by the rulers and the followers of Vishnavis, Vishnavites and Shivites. It is followers of Shaivism and Vishnavism. When these Buddhist monks were persuaded, time after time, these Buddhist monks began to move to Tibet, where it is Tibet, and to northeastern countries. And thus, in India, we say that this was also the cause of decline of Buddhism in India. Hope you would have enjoyed and learned the causes of Buddhism. Thank you.